I guess I'll just play this without context. Hello everyone. Last week I posted a new video here on YouTube that was quickly removed by YouTube but not before it had generated over 100,000 views and an avalanche of very positive comments. The video is called OK Groomer and it addresses the sexualization of children by rainbow alphabet activists and makes the point that it has gone too far. Somebody at YouTube disapproved of that, so now the video is gone. However, you can still see it on Twitter or X, the X Twitter, along with Rumble, BitChute and Gab. I'll leave all those links below. YouTube is mainstream media now and it's great for certain types of content, but for me, I think there's very little point in posting any more videos here as I've just had one too many removed for no good reason and I've got no reason to believe that's going to change. So from now on, I'll be posting all my videos directly to Twitter, Rumble, BitChute and Gab. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, check out Gab the new boomer. video if you haven't seen it. I, don't know, people see I hope you game. like it. I think you will. All right. Um, hey, I'll, I'll play this. Fuck it. We're getting into the true segment here soon. So this is a good segue. Halfway point. Hello, everyone. We're told that we have to be nice to the rainbow alphabet people because they're marginalized. If only they were our kids will be safer. How marginalized are they? Well, they're so marginalized, they fly a flag of allegiance for a month every year that every institution and large corporation obediently adopts and rubs in our faces. That's how marginalized they are. A flag under which alphabet activists masquerading as teachers expose children to poisonous gender ideology, queer theory, and sexual pornography in the name of education. Mentally ill men dressed as caricatures of women sexually groom children right in front of our eyes and every paedophile in the Western world now feels as if they've won the lottery. That's how marginalized they are and they're so far up their own fundament they can't even see how damaging this behavior is. They are killing public support for their cause. This is such a serious blunder. These people had already been accepted as an eccentric fringe element of society, which is the best they could reasonably hope for, since they are a small eccentric minority, exasperating us with their idiot pronouns and fantasy gender nonsense. You see, when gay people won their battle for equality, many of them simply wanted to be left alone to get on with their lives in peace. So the movement was taken over by ideologues, exhibitionists, and assorted perverts and freaks who adopted the fantasy concept of gender and then played the victim when people resisted having it rammed down their throat. And for this, they were not only indulged, but positively celebrated to a quite ridiculous degree, which unfortunately created an inflated sense of entitlement that just got the better of them. And they gave the game away by coming for the children. Now, people are paying attention and everything has changed. How on earth did you think this would be okay, you demented freaks? You had everything going for you. Nobody cared about your niche sexuality. Nobody cared if you wanted to parade around in a fairy costume and call yourself the Queen of Sheba until you came for the kids. You couldn't just say, we've been accepted, we're all over the culture like a rash, hooray for us. No, that wasn't enough. You just had to come for the kids and that is such a shame because now what we see is not eccentricity, diversity or difference. What we see is evil and we intend to put a stop to it because we know what's coming next if we don't. You're already trying to legitimize paedophiles by calling them minor attracted persons, as if it's simply another sexual preference and not a criminal perversion, where the damage it would do to a child's emotional development, well, that simply isn't part of the equation. After all, it's not about the children, is it? It's all about you, as it always is with you rainbow alphabet creeps. All you had to do was keep your hands off the kids, but you just couldn't do it as that would ruin everything, since clearly that was the plan all along. 
Sexualize them young, pervert them young. Get them away from their parents' influence so you can poison their minds before their minds have had a chance to fully form. And when parents object, you smear them as far-right extremists, conspiracy theorists. You accuse them of hate, as if you are somehow the victim here, and as if you have a perfect right to debauch and corrupt the minds of their children, which only shows how completely divorced from reality you people are. In truth, it is partly our own fault that things have been allowed to go this far, as we foolishly humoured your preposterous narcissism against our better judgment for far too long. But now that you've finally exposed yourselves in more ways than one, yeah, thanks for that, it's time to get back in your box, you perverts. You've indulged your perversion a step too far, and you've burst your own bubble, you disgusting degenerates. You've crossed a red line, and there is no going back. Now millions of parents have seen what you are. You have violated our trust. You have lost all our sympathy for your mental illness, and you and your flag, you have lost our support. Your predatory behaviour has stigmatised and alienated gay people, many of whom don't want to be associated with that toxic rainbow flag anymore because of what it has come to represent. Once widely accepted as a symbol of emancipation, it's now seen as a symbol of depravity and evil. It's the groomer's flag, the paedophile's flag, and it carries as much moral weight as a swastika. So the game is up, groomer, and the party is over. Our tolerance and our indulgence that you exploited have been withdrawn. Now your ugly minority freak show can revert to its true status and its rightful place, right back in that grubby little cultural backwater you crawled out of, where you will be marginalised, permanently marginalised, and deservedly so. You know, there used to be a time where, like, the elders were, uh, let's see if I can get you a link to this guy's channel in case. There you go. It's Pat Condell. Pat Condell, for those who want to know. Um, it's kind of weird how boomers are, like, super maligned, and I guess kind of rightfully so, because most of the ones I know suck, but usually... Like, boomers are in a unique position where they're already at the end of their lives. And theoretically, they would be in the best position possible to make sacrifice, to, like, unfuck things. Because they have more resources, they have more contacts, and they have less time, you know, to, to, to like, preserve on, on the planet. So theoretically... Old people are like great suicide bombers, is what I'm trying to say. And the, I think part of the reason why the elders, the elderly are so despised right now is that none of them are willing to strap on the vest, theoretically speaking, figure, figuratively speaking, the figurative bomb belt that the elders should be putting on themselves right now to save our society uh, is being castigated to the side so that they may live in luxury and donate all their money to black people or some shit, whatever the fuck they do when they die, or the church. They all spend it before they die, and then they donate it to the church, and the church spends it on black people. That's usually how it goes, something like that. So, um, I don't know. There's a very weird generational gap that doesn't really exist or hadn't existed in prior generations. At least to the best of my knowledge... I can't really think of a time where a generational gap where people just hate the elderly existed in part because our elderly are more abundant. It, it's never been such an upside down demographic where the elderly like outnumber the people in the middle. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, it's weird. It's really weird. And I don't know. I don't know what to expect. People all suck. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of black pilled on like the yes people are gonna like wake up and shit. But I don't know. At least with the Troon stuff, it's uh, it's tipping over. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.